get it. We're doing a little shop update here, I guess. It's been like two years almost since we did one, which is crazy. I guess we just forgot that we do that. A couple things have changed. We got a new belt sander. Got that off Facebook for $400. Pretty good. But we got our cleaning area. This wasn't set up yet, I don't think. We got a lacquer shirt now, which is cool. Pretty soon, actually, all the bending is going to the basement. That's pretty exciting. We should do some video down there because it's fing disgusting. Freezer's going down, kerosene buckets going down, these little Sonics, it's all gonna go. All the bending forms, everything, because it's just crowded up here. Shopping list has gained a few things. I don't know if the f he's putting the shit on there, but I've never needed water in my life, so. Probably the biggest change this year has been the machine part stuff. We have been freaking omni turning like freaking omni turn bros up in here. Like, so many Omniturns going on. These are some rotor caps, stuff like that. It's been a pretty huge change into making stuff because now I can make whatever I want very easily instead of doing them manual. We got trombone rings. We got trombone lead pipe rings. We got ring receivers, non-threaded rings, large size non-threaded rings. We got all the rings you ever need. I don't know, we got lots of parts now. We got lots of bells. We got shit going on. The pacemaker works. I don't know if this has been in a video. It works and it's not super loud anymore. When we first got it working, it was like really loud. It sounded like my mom's old mobile station wagon. It was like, but now it works and it's quiet. I found out that, look at that. Boom, it's been chewing up some steel as you can see. Making some mandrel adapters, stuff like that. When we bought it, it made a really weird noise, a really loud noise. And it was like that when I bought it, so it was fine. And I got it as a deal because of that. A friend of mine told me that the motor bearings were just need to replace, which sounds ridiculous because I've never had to do that ever. And I looked in there and the pulley that goes on the motor was just loose. <laughs> it was just flapping around like a old wet wiener. Set screw that thing down and then it goes. First like a kitten. Clutch needs work. I don't do that. Oh yeah, we got the beef. We had a bunch of letters from the old Beverly Shear sign and that's the best thing I, we could think of to spell with it. We couldn't do any expletives because we didn't have enough vowels, so pretty big bummer. But beef is pretty cool. Slightly less cool is we have all the raw material on the wall now, which is cool, I guess, if you like organization, that kind of thing, but it doesn't really get me going. We got nickel silver, look at all the nickel. That's like trust fund baby amount of money in nickel right there, baby. That's crazy. Let's see, what else is new? We sold the one on the turn, the shitty one that never worked. We got a new workbench set up here. We're making like assembly bench kind of thing. That coil, did we ever show the coil? That giant coil is almost gone. It was like 400, 450 pounds of brass that we used somehow, I don't know. I, I feel like Adam was just coming down here at night and cutting pieces off and throwing the scrap in. We got a pot of water, we're making some soup. We got floor tiles for downstairs, like those guys, those blue guys. Oh, there's bells! Look at the bells! We got more mandrels too. They just keep showing up. These are 20 trumpet bells in progress. I got 20 more, or no, actually, 40 more right there that I'm working on. Pretty cool. We got new mandrels too, like the ones that we made. And new one's the 229C trumpet bell. It's gonna be really exciting. French horn one. I just had made the boom boom short guy, the little, little hat guy. Oh, we moved the drawbench. That happened. The drawbench used to be right there and I found it to be in a very inconvenient spot and I always wanted it up against the wall. So now it's up against the wall. So I kind of 3D Tetris this thing around and in here. It's perfect and I got this cool card set up so that when we're drawing like drawing 20 something trumpet bells, you just put the mandrel on here and then the mandrel gets pulled in as it's being drawn. And it's super sweet. It works really well. And then you don't have to hold the mandrel like, a, like an ass hat. It's nice for trumpet bells, but for French horn bells, it makes life so much better. Because we used to just like have a cart, use that cart. We used to sit that cart in front of the draw bench and like let the mandrel rest on the cart and then it would be kind of rolling around. You couldn't take your hand off it. So that's the nice way. The, lay the outside layer. Did they show the outside layer? Nothing's really changed back here. Actually, no. I got this super cool thing. So this is a gas saver is what it's called. So you leave your torch set up. Just like this, just like this. This is how you do it. So it's a manual set. So you leave your torch set up to whatever aggressiveness you want, and then you're brazen the bell, you go, and then you go, and it has a pilot light that keeps going, but then this will eventually trickle down to not being lit. And then say, I want to brazen another bell. I want to brazen another bell. Boom. Same setting every time. And the thing I'm gonna do, which I did not do last time, if I have a torch setting, because it's really important, the torch setting to how easy it is to brace a bell, I can just turn off the tanks, because I got regulators, let the propane burn out, it'll burn out a bolt. And then when I want to brace bells again, a couple days later, next day or whatever, open the tanks and you're at the right torch setting, which is 
Very cool. That was like last week I did that. That was pretty awesome. The hoist broke, so I got a really cheap one to replace it. It's not long enough, so I have to do some uh, kung fu to make it work, but it's okay. Nothing really new. Oh, pizza oven. We have pizza oven. Do you like pizza, Dan? You like pizza? If you come here and I like you, I'll make you pizza. If I don't like you, no pizza. We're going downstairs now. I have a mason who's been working on this, getting this to not fall apart anymore, which is cool. Oh, yeah. That, can you see anything on the camera? Well, we'll go with this first. So down here, it's a f***ing mess down here, which is cool because it's a work in progress. It's way better than it was. We tore down all the drywall. We're gonna put up new drywall once the electricians are done, but electricians are putting in new lighting everywhere. We're doing these lights. There's gonna be some on the other side as well. And then we're doing cast lights over everything. I have my mason guy. He just bricked this up for me. That's super cool. Looks really nice. And this guy all gonna get painted. He did a really nice job. I threw the machines in the corner out to scrap. And he was the guy taking the scrap. And he was like, I was like, oh, you do anything else? He's like, oh, I do brickwork. And I'm like, I got holes, baby. So then he did this one too. He did a very nice job. Because this one was filled in, but it was filled in like, like a fucking electrician did it. Never done masonry work before. So it was like all bolted out and water was coming through, but he did a really nice job. And then a friend of mine who's a welder fabricator guy, he's on Instagram, I'll say his name. Praxis something. <laughs> Colin will find it. Colin's good at that. He's making me new windows. So these windows are actually really cool. The only bummer about them is they're not very good at being windows. He's making me new frames out of stainless steel that are gonna open, because these open. Probably 45 degree angle. Not, not quite. 30 degree angle, these open, which is super cool. What? Light? You want me to turn it on? I'll turn it on. Shut up, Colin. Yeah, look at that. There's light. Yeah, so we're gonna have new windows down here that actually seal the outside out is the hope. And they're gonna be stainless, so they're not gonna rust out, but they're gonna be super pretty hip, I think. That's the goal. And then over here, we're putting in a sink. Before I put in the sink, I just need my plumber guy to come hook it up. And then this is gonna be the place that we, we bend stuff. So bending's all coming down here in the middle, kind of. We'll bend stuff, empty it, and then it'll get sanded and buffed down here. And then it'll go upstairs for assembly, and then get assembled, and then it come back down for finaling and polishing and cleaning and all that. We'll do all that on all down here, but it makes sense. And then drawing eventually is gonna be down here too for tubes and stuff. In that corner where the window was. So we're gonna bring all the drawing down here so that way raw material like tubing stock will come down here and probably get sorted in the other room over there. We'll turn raw tubing into polished tubing for assembly and fabrication upstairs. So it all comes down, starts on here and goes upstairs. Makes sense to me. Makes sense to you, Dan? But yeah, drop it. We're gonna make a new one, a real one that actually works right here. It's actually gonna work too. But yeah, you like that. A hundred years of metal shavings from a shaper. That's my spinning lathe right above there. Oh, uh, this corner's kind of cool. Let's show this corner. So there used to be that giant grinder in the corner. And there's no longer a giant grinder in this corner. But there is water coming from somewhere. I don't really feel any moisture on the wall. Probably just from my pressure washing, because I never vacuumed it all up. What do you think? But back here, there's gonna be the, we're putting an electrical sub panel down here to run everything off of because we're doing all new electric because it's all old shit. Electrical panel, air compressor is gonna, we're gonna build a little room here, a little maintenance room kind of thing. Compressor, sub panel. Yeah, you like, you like that, you like that. But yeah, where does that water come from? It has to be from the pressure washing. Pretty cool. Oh. So this is something that I hate. It has to come into the tube straight or it's not worth its life. 